The Northern Territory Government has acknowledged its youth justice reforms have been inadequate. In response, the woman who was overseeing the delivery of youth justice programs has been stripped of her responsibilities. But Jeanette Kerr will remain as the Deputy CEO of the Territory Families Department. Two years after the Labor government took office, promising to fix problems in the notorious Dondale Detention Centre, it's racked by riots, detainee assaults on workers, understaffing and self-harm. The minister has now told her departmental chief executive, Ken Davies, she's lost patience with the lack of progress on reform. Our reform um, journey had not been where we needed it to be and certainly with the incidents over the last few weeks, um, clearly there was more work to do. The department deputy chief executive Jeanette Kerr has been stripped of all responsibility for youth justice. She's um, now, yes, continuing as a um, focusing purely on, on child protection. This is about refocusing our effort. One of her former underlings, Brent Warren, has been elevated to take her youth justice role. We never denied the size of the reform process that um, we need to undertake in both child protection and youth justice. On Thursday, a Darwin juvenile court judge refused to keep a child who admitted stabbing a man in the throat in Dondale on remand because of the conditions there. The judge also criticised a lack of rehabilitation programmes. We have a range of programs running currently within um, both facilities. Some of them have been slightly delayed over the last few weeks due to physical damage within um, those facilities. More than six months since the Royal Commission made its recommendations, most of the calls for accountability have been over child protection failures. There's a lack of accountability in what occurs um, at all levels of child protection and any services that are dealing with police, we absolutely need to get a handle on this. Particularly following the rape of a two-year-old girl in Tennant Creek in February, after 52 warnings, she and her sisters were at risk. And I still feel the hurt within me, you know, and I, I think somebody should be made accountable for this, you know. Like I said before, my, my niece should have been, never been in that situation. The responsibility being taken now is limited. Jeanette Kerr will remain the department's deputy CEO. Her boss, Ken Davies, keeps his job. Jane Barton, ABC News.